Hey guys, this is Laurentios from Bucket Dev, and I'm going to be doing a short tutorial on how to set up Lawrence RPG Mobs, which is my biggest plugin right now. And I'm going to be showing you how to set it up and getting into the configuration of it a little bit. So first off, what I'm going to do is I already have a Bucket 1.7.9 server set up, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the latest file, beta 2.0.2. I'll grab it, and I'm doing all this from scratch. I don't have anything set up really. Um, the only other plugins I have on here are World Guard, World Edit, Heroes, Vault, and some other ones that don't matter. So I'll just get rid of these real quick. So for Lawrence RPG Mobs to be completely fully functional and have all the functionality that I've created for it, you want these four plugins. Um, you don't have to have heroes, you don't have to have world guard and world edit or vault. Um, vault is just a dependency for heroes and world edit dependency for world guard. So really you don't need any of these, but I'm going to leave these in here um, for parts two and three of the tutorial. So let's go ahead and throw this in here. Get started. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is start up the server. And the first thing to note is a small issue that I still need to address and fix. Um, it's not really an issue, it's just kind of a convenience thing. It is right when the server first starts, it's going to load all the config and like make all the files, but it doesn't actually do anything with them. So right now it's just an empty plugin that's loaded. So what we're going to do is reload it, and now the plugin is functioning how it's supposed to. So if I hopped on right now, go ahead and get on Minecraft. And again, this, this version only works with 1.7.9. There are some changes in the normal Mi Minecraft server code that are pretty substantial enough to cause issues on different versions. So 1.7.9-RO.2, if that makes any sense, is what I'm using for this. It should work with RO3 as well, but I'm using RO2 right now. Or I thought so. Right here. Oh, okay. Oh well. So I'm going to hop on here. Localhost. And I should see from the start monsters with tags. So let me come over here and look at this guy. Yes, he has a tag. Perfect. Um, I'm going to have go ahead and butcher just to make sure it's all correct. So if I spawn a guy, yes, he has a level. Okay, so first thing I'm going to show you guys is the config file. Um, this is pretty much the most basic part of the plugin, and it's not really getting into all the major configuration of distance of creatures or changing how much damage or health they do. That's in the monsters.yml file, which will have its own separate part in tutorial se this tutorial series. So looking at the config.yml, we have the version. Which this is wrong, it should say beta 2.0.2, but I was dumb and of course did not update the YML. And then also we have bonus MC experience, spawner allowed, language, and override heroes exp. So essentially, if you're going to be using my plugin and heroes, most likely you want to set this to true. Um, if you're not using it, then just set it to false to avoid a lot of overloading of CPU and release up some memory for other plugins that you may be using. But if you're using Heroes, it's not that much different in performance, but go ahead and set this to true and this will give you a lot more freedom in how you want to give experience to your Heroes. Um, the language file, basically Lawrence RPG Mobs comes with three different languages from the start. It comes with English, French, and Spanish. Um, I did just throw these in Google, and they're probably going to be funny, but they're going to be close. So if you wanted to change them, say your server was a Spanish server, you just change language to sp ugh, that's spelling Spanish. Or if you're French, you put French. But also you see there's a custom file here. All you have to do is put in custom, and then you can jump in this 
and I use Notepad++. If you just have normal Notepad, shame on you. Get Notepad++ if you're a server owner um, or some other text reading thing that's not Notepad. So first thing you're going to look in here and you're going to see that there's every type of creature pretty much and then a name next to it. So by default it's all just English. Um, but you can change this. For example, I have skeleton in my hand, so I'm going to change this. We're going to make it ghastly figure. Oop. I cannot spell right now. So I'm going to do that. And then in the config, we're going to leave that as custom. Save it. And now I'm going to use Lawrence RPG Mobs reload command. So now let's go ahead and butcher everything. And if a skeleton can just pop up here. Just so I can show you guys that this is normal spawning. There's some zombies. Normal zombies. Gosh, no skeletons. Okay, I'll just pop one down. And Ghastly Figure is its name. So as you can see, that's working perfectly fine. A known bug, which is bucket side and not mine, is that the... Yes, reload. Um, the zombies. When you spawn a zombie with a spawner egg, they look like scrolls on here. But if you spawn it with a spawner egg, it actually takes the type as pig zombie. And we all know that's not correct. That's just a normal zombie there. But Bucket thinks it's a pig zombie. So when you're editing things on here um, for a couple versions until they fix it, I, it might be fixed in RO3 for all I know, um, it's going to think that these are pig zombies. However, if a normal zombie spawns and it's fine, like, it, it doesn't matter. Bucket doesn't see it as a pig zombie. It sees it as a normal zombie for some reason. So I don't know why there's that discrepancy between spawner eggs and normal spawning, but there is. So just giving you guys, heads, you guys a heads up that that is an issue. Okay, and the next setting, I don't know why I'm starting from the bottom, but spawner allowed. Basically, the setting is a true-false setting, which either allows spawner eggs which I'm using right now, and Minecraft spawners to allowed level mobs. So if you have a lot of people just grinding at a MC normal Minecraft spawner and they're just killing level 100s or something and you don't want that to happen, you can set this to false and then anything that comes out of that Minecraft spawner is just a regular old Minecraft creature. So it'll essentially be like my plugin's not doing anything to them. So let me go ahead and set this to false for example. And right now, you see that they're getting the name tags and they're getting the levels. If I reload the server now, oh, not that, just LRM reload, and I start using spawner eggs, you're going to see that they're not going to have tags, or they shouldn't anyways. So here we go. No tag. Nothing on there that shows anything that he's special. He's just a normal zombie. Nothing going on. So that's how that works. That's going to do spawner eggs and regular Minecraft spawners. So let's set that back. Reload once RPG mobs. Alright, and the final thing is bonus Minecraft experience. Now this is changing how much enchantment experience you get in Minecraft. So if I was to change out of game mode right now, number one, all these obviously would kill me. Number two, you would see that I'm getting increased Minecraft experience. And that's set in the monsters.yml file, which again I'll get into in part two of this tutorial series. So that's basically it for setting up Lawrence RPG mobs and basic config. Um, hope you guys keep watching. Hope this helps. Um, if there's anything I don't really cover and you guys don't understand, just let me know either on Bucket Dev or on the video post. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon.